Hi, I'm Doug and this is Defender Tacticals. Today I'm showing you uh, how to quarantine an email in the case of an emergency, how to remove it from people's mailbox and delete it out of it. Uh, usually this happens when an incident is critical, so let's not waste time and let's hop into it and show you how to get that done. All right, so here we are in the Defender portal to delete an email out of someone's mailbox in the case of like an incident or just someone sent something inappropriate. First thing we're gonna do is come to security.microsoft, again, the Defender portal, and then down here under email and collaboration, we're gonna to go to explorers. This will show you all of the recent emails related that have happened in your environment. And so maybe you heard from someone that uh, Jeff told you that he got a weird email from help desk. We can use this explorer to figure out what that was and start looking at these things. So in this case, I'm gonna come to the recipients and I'm gonna type out Jeff's email. And essentially then just filter on all of the emails that Jeff has received. And here you can see it's a demo environment, so it's not a lot of email. So you can come in here and quickly kind of see all of the stuff that's happened in here. And he said he received an email from a help desk team. And as I'm looking here, uh, sender address is showing, but maybe display name has been faked. So what we can do is come in here and then add in this customized column and then essentially add the sender display name to see like who it is that's actually sending it. And here I can see he did receive a couple of emails from help desk at bc3 bc365.attacklab.com. And so that's that's the one I'm gonna hone in on and kind of figure out what this is. And so if I wanna filter more, I can come into this, select that email address, and come back in here and add to the filtering, essentially, emails from that sender. And you'll also notice it's gonna expand and start adding to this list here. One of the things that you may wanna do as you're looking at this is start looking a little farther back and see, you know, essentially did they do this anywhere. Just by updating it doesn't always save the filter, so make sure you always hit the refresh button up here at the top, and that will force it to kind of expand that out. So now we can see, yep, Jeff's been receiving a bunch of emails from these, and we can start looking at them. All right, you know, okay, account issues, daily updates, and we can open these up and see kind of what the data is in here. In this case, these mailbox, these items were delivered to the mailbox uh, and they were delivered. You'll notice over here, um, there is a tenant allow list that let this email come through. So if it was something that was supposed to be quarantined, there might be a allow that allowed this email to come through to this end user. All right, so again, I can come in here and I can investigate, I can see the URLs that happened. And then you'll notice here, the one that he mentioned to us, this is the one that you know had a problem, right? In this case, there was a URL that was updated in this system, right? Normally it's a you know a standard system that he uses. It looks like maybe they got compromised. And so we can see here, spamlink.contoso.com was the email that was sent, All right. And so what we can do from here, we've determined the email, we wanna delete it out of his mailbox. Well, what we do is take action on this email. And so, you know, quickly in here, we can just come in and say, yeah, let's take that email and let's hard delete it or soft delete it or just maybe move to the folder of deleted items folder. I'm always gonna recommend soft delete, uh, you know, and come in and do that as part of this item, right? In this case, we can also come in and submit it to Microsoft and put a block in place for it. So essentially I can come in and here quickly and say, hey, you know what, these things are, are bad things. Maybe just BEC365 or help desk isn't a bad thing that we want in our environment, but maybe it's just the spam link in here. We can essentially come in and add those. If those are received, block those in entities. We can also kick off an investigation of this email in here. And so quickly, I'm just gonna do that. And now we're gonna kick off that action as part of this. All right, and so that's gonna take those things, remove them, clear it out of the environment. One of the things that you should do though in an investigation like this is to say, you know what? Was anybody else receiving those emails outside of Jeff, right? And so what we can do is clear that filter up here and look at, okay, let's look at who else received emails from that. And you'll notice, yeah, we got a lot more emails where people were seeing those emails. and. At the same time, Jeff received that phishing email. 
essentially we also see that same email went to a couple other entities in our organization here. And so if I wanna look at that, I can then come in and again, pull up some of those entities. Maybe I just want to pull up the ones that had this spam link, cause maybe again, some of them are legitimate. We can come in here and then add into it. Hey, just show me the ones that had those, you know, kind of components in it, right? So who had spam link in those emails? And essentially we can come in here, see all of that. If it's something like you have 500 emails in here, right? Just do your filter. And then at the top here, and you want to delete them out of it, you can just select this top item, anything that's showing in this filter, you can then take action on and do the same thing of, let's delete these items out of everybody's mailbox, right? And so come in here uh, and say, uh, oh, delete. And submit it. And so now it's gonna essentially come in, do all those things and remove it from everybody's mailbox. And so that's how we can do that. That's how we can quickly activate, clear out those emails in our environment. So hope that helps. That's the quick win. That's how you can do that in there. One of the things I've noticed a lot for customers is that they don't have permission to do that in their environment. So if you find that you do not have permission to do that, I want you to come down here into systems and then settings and then defender XDR and there is a bunch of different options for purview. Normally, if you, or not purview, for uh, security permissions, normally you need purge and delete role, and that's kind of the old exchange role to do it. However, what we can do is activate this newer XDR workloads and activate to give ourselves permission in Defender for Office and Exchange Online so that we can delete those items in there. So go ahead and turn on, I recommend this, activating all of the new control planes for these areas. And then if you still don't have permission, you need to come in here and assign out specific roles to those end users. You can come in and just create a custom role group, giving you essentially permission to these areas. So read all properties. If you wanna a la carte it, you can, and have that in there. And that's it. That's how we can quickly come into your environment and delete those emails out of uh, someone's mailbox or a whole group of end users mailbox. I hope this video helps uh, you quickly take action on that you know, incident that you have. If you find that this helped, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It does help me out quite a bit. Good luck and stay safe out there.